guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have heard so many good things about this foundation, so I was super, super pumped to get my hands on this. And finally, Wet n Wild in New Zealand came out with their Photo Focus line because when I tried the Cover All line, a lot of you guys told me that the Photo Focus line is so, so good. I also picked up the um, Natural Finish setting spray from the Photo Focus line as well. These are the only two things that we have in New Zealand from the Photo Focus line. I heard the powder is really nice and the concealer if there's a concealer I might be wrong but yeah I just picked up what I could I will talk a little bit about the spray as well so you guys can get my thoughts on that too but yeah if you guys just want to hear my opinion on this foundation and how I feel about it then just continue watching as always I'm going to give you guys some product info first so this is the Wet n Wild photo focus foundation I got the shade golden beige it comes with one fluid ounce which is 30 mils one fluid ounce is a pretty standard size for a foundation which is amazing the price for this in New Zealand is $12.99. For those of you that live in America, don't freak out. This is so, 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 so affordable in New Zealand. I think like Maybelline foundations, I don't know. I haven't shopped with Maybelline in a long time since I am cruelty free. But I think from back in the day, I remember their foundations being... $30. It is affordable compared to other brands, but $30 for drugstore and the price that it is in America is ridiculous. So Wet n Wild products are actually really, really affordable here. So if any of you guys are some of my New Zealand subscribers and you're wondering how I got this foundation because I went to like, I think I went to three different farmers to find this foundation in stores because I really wanted to get the right shade for myself. None of the farmers had it at their booth. They do have this foundation on the farmers website. So just go online and buy it off there. I know it's more of a hassle because you can't really tell what shade is good for you. So now we got the product info out of the way. I want to tell you guys some claims that Wet n Wild claims for this foundation. I have my little notebook ready. So this foundation has light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. It is tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. It will give you flawless camera ready makeup. It's also matte light diffusing complex to your skin. So photo focus is in the the name of this foundation so when you think of it it's going to give you flawless makeup that's gonna look beautiful and flash photography no flash photography camera film everything is just meant for the camera pretty much so first off the formula of this foundation is very very thin also very liquidy as well if I just put some on the back of my hand you can see it's quite runny as for coverage I would say it's a light to medium coverage it is buildable so on some days if you want more of a light coverage you can do that and and then if you want a little bit more coverage, you can build it on and you can get more of a medium coverage. I do not think that it is a full coverage foundation because I couldn't cover up some red spots that I have here on the side of my face with this foundation alone. Two of my favorite foundations, the Hourglass Vanish Stick and also the Urban Decay All Nighter. These are foundations that I can build on and cover up these red spots and don't really need to go in with concealer further. It's not really a big issue for me. It just depends what you are looking for. So for these red spots, the medium coverage does not cover up that redness so I did have to go in with concealer to cover up further. It is buildable but it does not get cakey, it doesn't cake up, it doesn't look heavy, it still looks very natural on the skin which is amazing and I love it. As for the finish, it does say that in the claims it did say that it's a matte finish but for me I feel like it's more of like a matte satin finish because compared to the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, that one is like for sure, for sure a matte finish. Like it's so, so freaking matte. But this one I feel like it is matte. Like it's not a dewy foundation. It's not dewy, but it's not fully, fully matte. I think it's just because I'm comparing it to the Urban Decay one. So I would say for me, it's like more of a matte satin finish. Very, very beautiful. And because of this finish, I feel like it can suit a lot of different skin types. Because it's a little bit more matte, I don't see it like being drying. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel heavy. That way I feel like dry skin people could really like this as well. So I have oily combination skin for it being matte but not too too matte. It's perfect for oily skin people as well. As for the application, this foundation does not have a pump. First I wasn't feeling this spatula applicator but then I'm like I really don't mind because for me I always pump it on the back of my hand and then I will go in with a brush like this and then I will apply it onto my face just like painting it onto my face and then I 
I'll go in with my beauty blender to blend it out. So either way, I'm getting it on the back of my hand, whether it's a pump or if it's a spatula. I wouldn't recommend you using this and applying it directly on your face because for hygiene reasons, that's not really like the cleanest thing to do. I would just say get the spatula, put some on the back of your hand, use a brush, apply it, and then you can use the brush to blend it in or a beauty blender. As for the wear time, today is actually my second day of wearing it. Yesterday, I wore it for the whole day. I feel like for foundations, I don't need too long to figure out whether I like it. I feel like concealers, I need a little bit more time, but for foundations, I can kind of get the gist. Yesterday, I wore it from like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night, so it was a good almost 12 hours of wearing it. I went to the gym with it because I don't usually go to the gym with my makeup on because I feel really gross, but I really wanted to test it out and see how it was going to wear for the whole day. I think on camera and in person, it looks so, so good. I don't know, can you guys tell a difference with my skin on camera? Like, do, do I look more airbrushed? My necklace is like... Does my foundation look a little bit better than usual? Because for me, on camera, I feel like it looks the same when I wear my Hourglass foundation and also my Urban Decay or Nida foundation. I feel like no matter what foundation I'm wearing that's full coverage, I feel like it all looks really good on film. I would say around 2 p.m. after I got back from the gym, it rubbed off around my nose. My nose is like the area that gets really oily the quickest and stuff. Like foundation on my nose always just looks bad throughout the day, so I'm not really fussed over it. It doesn't look like really really bad. I can obviously take my beauty sponge, like dab it out and it looks fine again. I feel like I did get a little bit shiny. It wasn't too bad. I mean I did go to the gym. I did sweat a little. I mean the shine wasn't too bad so it did keep my oils a little bit controlled but then again I feel like my skin is changing. I'm not as oily as I used to be. It was just mainly around my nose where I didn't like it. Other than that everywhere else my bronzer was still intact. Everything looked perfectly fine. So for the amount of time that I wore it yesterday I do think it is very long wearing. It's a foundation that I would wear if I was going out for the whole day for sure. So as for the claims where it does say for the photography reasons, I did take some photos with my Canon G7X directly in front of my window and then I took one over here with my G7X. I took some with my iPhone 7 as well and you guys can just see how it looks like with different cameras and different lighting. I'm going to take one with my ring light. There is no white cast flashback but for me for that claim I didn't really understand it because I feel like white cast usually comes from powder not from foundation. I do think it looks amazing on the skin and doesn't feel cakey, doesn't feel heavy. It's a really really great foundation. For that overall I am so so happy with this foundation. I love it so much. Even though it's only my second day using it I know I'm gonna love it. I will give you guys updates if anything happens for sure. This is the only drugstore foundation that I actually like. This one is so so good and for the price like guys like for you guys in America probably won't understand how happy I am because living in New Zealand foundation is so expensive even like drugstore brands the foundations are so expensive and for this to be like $13 this is the same amount as one of my meals it's so good and I highly highly recommend it I do think they could improve their shade range what they have in New Zealand there isn't a lot I will for sure for sure repurchase this again because of the price it just works amazing it is worth the hype. It has my stamp of approval. I freaking love it. On um, just briefly mentioning the Photo Focus Natural Spray. I hate the way the sprays out. It's not like a fine mist. It's literally shooting you in the face and it does have a really weird smell to it. It only has 45 mils. Um, I mean for a setting spray that is not a lot so I'm just gonna use it up. I don't think it's like amazing. I still like my 3 Concept Eyes Makeup Fixer Mist a little bit better. So that is going to conclude my video for today. I hope you guys did find this review helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up for me. I know this foundation came out so long ago, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys own this foundation? What do you guys think of it? I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!